Hi there, welcome to Shine Tech's YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm going to go through anatomy multiple choice questions on the abdomen. So to start with, start with question one. So question one reads, at the clula of diaphragm, the following take place except A, the median aqueduct ligament is formed in front of iota. B, the thoracic duct and the azygous vein pass between the crula. C, the right crula pass to the left surrounding the oesophageal hiatus. And G, the oesophagus hiatus is found at T9. So all of these are correct except D. D is wrong. Why? Because the oesophagus hiatus is not at T9, but instead it is at T10. So the answer for question one is D. Question two. Swallowed foreign bodies tend to lodge at the following regions, except A, at the fornices, B, at 15 centimeter from the incisors, C, at 25 centimeter from the incisors, and D, at 43 centimeter from the incisors, E, pyloric antrum. So the correct answer for question two is E. Okay, so swallowed full rain bodies will tend to lodge at the each of these except E, which is pyloric antrum of the stomach. So we move on to question three. During respiration, the following structures move except one: A, the kidney; B, the spleen. C, the liver, D, the gallbladder, E, the stomach. So all of these are going to move during respiration, except E, which is the stomach, except E. So question four, the aortic opening in the diaphragm is at the level of A, T8, B, T11, C, T12, D, L1, E, L3. So the opening, the aortic opening in the in the diaphragm is at the level of T10, which is B. For question four, we move on to question five. Immediately the vagal trunk enter the abdomen the abdominal cavity they give off the following branches except a the gastric b hepatic c phlegmic d pyloric and e celiac so the vagal trunk when it enters the abdominal cavity it is going to give off the gastric hepatic, pyloric, and celiac, except the phlegmic. So, C, except C. So, question 5, the answer is C. Question 6, the abdominal aorta, find the false statement. A, ends anterior to the body of L4 vertebrae. B, Sister Kylie lies on its right side. C. Supplies the hindgard via the inferior mesenteric artery only. D. It, its pulsation is transmissible to anterior abdominal wall. And E. Renal arteries arise at the level of L2 vertebrae. So, the fourth statement here is C. Supplies the hindgard via the inferior mesenteric artery only. This is false. Why? Because the hindgard is also supplied by the
the superior mesenteric artery via the middle the, via the middle colic artery which supplies the transverse colon which is part of the hindgut so it is not the inferior mesenteric artery only question 6 answer is c question 7 the bowel duct fi find the true statement a starts in the head of the pancreas b lies behind the duodenum throughout its extent c opens into the second part of the duodenum d carries venous blood e or of the above so for question seven the true statement here is that the bowel duct opens into the duodenum opens into the second part of duodenum which is the correct answer is c for question seven question eight the kidneys find the false statement a each contains about one million nephrons b the right kidney is related inferiorly to the hepatic colic flexure c lie with their healer at the level of l for vertebrae d lie in a fascia sheath with their related suprarenal gland d e develop from the meta nephrons so the first statement here is e develop from the meta nephrons so the kidney is going to develop from the intermediate mesoderm the intermediate mesoderm is going to form the nephrogenic cord and then from the nephrogenic cord that's where the kidneys are going to develop not from the meta nephrons question nine the suprarenal glands find the true answer a related posteriorly to the right and left lobes b supplied by the superior middle and inferior suprarenal arteries c right gland is crescent crescentric in shape d right suprarenal vein drains to right renal vein e zona glomerulosa secretes glucocorticoids so concerning the suprarenal glands the true statement here is that it is supplied by the superior middle and inferior suprarenal arteries the superior superior suprarenal gland uh, the superior the superior artery of the suprarenal gland comes from the inferior splenic arteries and the middle adrenal arteries comes from the aorta direct from the aorta and the inferior adre adrenal arteries come from the renal arteries okay so these are the three arteries that supplies the suprarenal gland so the true statement here is b question 10 which of the following structures does not lie in front of the right kidney a right lobe of liver b second part of duodenum c pancreatic head d hepatic flexure e georgina so the one which does not lie in front of the right kidney is the pancreatic head so the correct answer here is c for question 10 so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like if you like this video subscribe so that you don't miss any of my multiple choice question questions and leave your comment
concerning this video in the comment section below.